Hey everybody, Straight Out Billy here doing song number 553 in 553 days in a row. Been doing one song every day since August 7th of 2020. And we're going to keep on doing one song every day till this COVID-19 pandemic is brought under control. And we can go out and play some regular gigs again with the whole band. Guitars, drums, more keyboards. Please check out the website, straydog.org. That's where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy. Short for Stray Dog Bill Arnold. Today, we're going to do a song from uh, uh, Rod Stewart, written by Tim Harden, called Reason to Believe. And here we go. If I listen long enough to you, I'd find a way to believe that it's all true. Knowing that you lie, straight face while I cry. Still I look to find a reason to believe Someone like you makes it hard to live without somebody else Someone like you makes it easy to give and everything about myself If I let you Try to change my mind I'd find a way Just to leave the past behind Knowing That you lie Straight face While I cry solo you play it Website Stray Dog, No Kill Dog Shelter. My first wife, the late Pat Arnold, she passed on in 2003 of a brain aneurysm, tragically, suddenly, unexpectedly. Horrible, horrible time. Anyway, eight years before that, in 1994, we started No Kill dog shelter, stray dog, and uh, in 1997, we became a Texas nonprofit corporation, and that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS 501c3 tax exempt status, <clears throat> making all donations and contributions to the shelter tax deductible. 
We're still going strong today, still rescuing, rehabilitating when necessary, fixing, which means spaying and neutering, and adopting out formerly stray and other formerly homeless dogs, and once in a while cats, to good homes. And we're gonna keep on doing this till there is no more overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world across the United States of America, and hopefully ultimately around the world. We're still going strong today. Adoptions, adoptions, adoptions. That's one of the main focuses of all animal shelters because we all want to save, find homes for, give a life to as many of these precious animals who have already been born and are here. In the year 2019, across this nation, from all 3,500 shelters, animal shelters, we, as a group, totally, adopted out 3.2 million dogs and cats in 2019. 1.6 million dogs, 1.6 million cats, just happened to be about an equal number in 2019. That's an average of 4,400 dogs adopted out every single day of the year 2019. 4,400 cats adopted out every single day of the year 2019. That's a tremendous accomplishment. All shelters and pounds deserve our financial support. Now, there's a very tragic and dark side to this overpopulation problem in the United States of America and around the world, and that is that we are still in the United States using euthanasia to get rid of the extras, the ones that haven't been adopted out. Terrible, terrible tragedy. We are still, euthanasia is meant for terminally ill dogs and cats and other animals so they don't have to suffer. It's meant for fatally injured dogs and cats and other animals so they don't have to suffer. We as a society have been using it for decades and decades and decades and decades to get rid of the extras. We are still today euthanizing approximately, and this is an average, 1,700 dogs and cats every single day are being euthanized to get rid of them because we can't find homes. 1,700 per day. 11 years ago in 2011, it was far worse. It was 7,000 per day were being euthanized because they couldn't find homes. And 52 years ago in the year 1970, the total was 41,000 dogs and cats euthanized every single day to get rid of them. A terrible, terrible tragedy that this has been going on for decades and decades and decades and decades. So what do we have to do to stop it? We've got to get to 1,700 where we are now, which is a lot better than 41,000 per day. 1,700 per day now, we've got to get it down to zero. What are we going to do? We have to control conception. We have to stop conception so the mama dogs and mama cats with the help of papa dogs and papa cats don't keep on delivering to us to take care of them, which we gladly do because that's our mission, our purpose. Litter after litter after litter after litter of puppies and kittens and puppies and kittens and puppies and kittens. We have to stop conception, stop conception. In the dog and cat world, how do you stop conception? Well, we've known about this for decades and decades and decades also. It's called spay and neuter. If we all spay and neuter our pets, the overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world will end. We'll be back again tomorrow with another song for the stray dog, Billy, one man bad. Hey, bam, 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 stop scratching your back. I will be back.